Hello everyone, um, welcome back. My name is Peter Wolf and thank you for joining our Wolf Weekly Vlog. Uh, we're bringing you a couple of new segments uh, and this is another new one which is called What's This Bit? Um, so we had a lot of people ringing us and writing to us saying, you know, what, what's an air pressure switch and, you know, what's an ignition controller? Well today we're focusing on ignition controllers and I have two here in front of me. Um, very, they're two different types of ignition controllers. I guess the first thing to say is it's just a, a, a method of identifying what uh, these uh, components are. Uh, you uh, should always be consulting or using a licensed electrician or a licensed gas fitter because uh, this is obviously some serious bit of kit and uh, certainly uh, in some instances we do have 240 volts uh, or high voltage supply going to it. Uh, so certainly not something to be played with. Um, apart from perhaps maybe touching the reset button, which we'll talk about um, shortly. So what is an ignition controller? Well, simply it controls, from a safety expert, how uh, we are going to ignite the, uh, the pilot gas on the burner. So basically, firstly, it's going to uh, receive some form of communication, either from the, the PLC or from a relay that's coming off the switchboard, uh, and it's going to throw, uh, throw a set of... Uh, uh, a current to basically the ignition controller and so you should have like the little igniter that goes click 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 uh, that makes the spark and that's really what this is going to do it's going to create the spark and it's going to hold that spark for a period of time and then it's going to have to then acknowledge or uh, recognize uh, what's called the flame rod and that you're actually holding a continual flame uh, in that. So, we have two types here. This is um, a real simple basic ignition controller. You would typically find that this type of one uh, would be generally used on more basic sort of setups, particularly if you're using uh, straight atmospheric burners. Um, and it would have one lead connected into here. And this would be the lead that would go uh, to the spark uh, back down to the ignition lead and connect onto your ignition electrode or your spark plug. And this would be creating it. And then from here we have a series of other terminals along here which will be dealing with the combustion fan, uh, but also have to do with other combustion control areas as well, uh, temperature sensor as well. So there's a, a number of different areas for this. Uh, these uh, do fail, um, and particularly when you're turning your roaster on early in the morning and you're not getting a spark, first thing to do would obviously be looking at uh, checking whether or not uh, one, the actual ignition rod itself needs to be replacing. The second area I would be looking at is uh, looking at your ignition controller and seeing if that's failed. The other one that I have here is a little bit more sophisticated. It's more for premix or variable speed fan burners. Um, and this one has a, a different sort of set of parameters. This would be communicating back to a PLC. And within this particular one, it would be setting the pre-purge time, stabilization time. It would have a safety time held uh, where it would require basically how long it has to be held at ignition for a period of time. It would also have a, a lockout after so many attempts. So if your burner failed, you know, depending on your local, uh, local regulations, whether it's one to three or zero attempts, it would lock out and then would require you to push the reset button uh, to then restart the ignition process again. So this is what an ignition controller does. Basically it controls how the gas gets ignited on your coffee roaster. So when we talk ignition controllers, have a bit of a look around. It generally is either located to the side or very near the burner somewhere. These are two examples from a local company called Techrite or a German manufacturer, which is a global brand called Dungs. Um, but also there's Krom Schroeder and there's also various other manufacturers around, but definitely Honeywell do one as well, Siemens. So there's multiple brands, but ignition controller, it's all about controlling how we ignite managing that safety uh, and ensuring that we can have a stable, uh, stable flame uh, held at a period of time. That's that bit. Any further questions or any bits that you don't know anything about, please drop us a note at the bottom of the uh, YouTube channel here in the comments section uh, and we will seek out that bit and we'll name it for you. Hit the subscribe button, let everyone know. I'm Peter Wolf and thanks for watching.